So students, your next question is 1.25. Here, they are asking to show a difference between 0.5 mole Na2CO3 and 0.5 molar Na2CO3. We need to show the difference between both. So first, we will talk about 0.5 mole Na2CO3. So what do you mean by that? So when I am talking about 0.5 mole Na2CO3, it means I am talking about amount of a substance right so when i say for example if i'm going to a market and i want to buy uh, say around one kg of onion or something then i would just ask them give me a kg of onion or 250 grams of sugar and and all of that but when you're talking in terms of your compound then we talk in terms of mole that means we're measuring in terms of your amount of substance so here one mole is equal to what your given mass by molecular mass that is the formula for number of moles right given mass we don't know mole we know it's here molecular mass of sodium carbonate is easy to find out so if i'm trying to find out what is the molecular mass of sodium carbonate i will have 23 into 2 23 atomic number of sodium into 2 because I have 2 atoms of sodium plus carbon 12 into 1 because atomic number of carbon 12 1 atom plus 16 is the atomic number or my atomic mass of oxygen into 3 because they are total 3 atoms so in this when I try to calculate I will get 106 grams as molecular mass for sodium carbonate so here one of the mole, mole is given to us as 0.5 moles. Given mass is what we have to find out. Molecular mass is 106. Now when we find out X in this case, we have 53 grams. So to have in, in your 0.5 mole Na2CO3, we have 53 grams of sodium carbonate. So here we can write 53 grams of sodium carbonate are present in 0.5 mole of Na2CO3 that is the meaning of 0.5 mole Na2CO3 now let us see what is the meaning of 0.5 molar solution okay so for 0 0.5 molar solution when I am going to talk about, in this case I am going to talk in terms of molarity because there is a concentration term. So molarity is equal to number of moles of solute by volume of solution in liter that is a formula for the concentration given to us right now in this we need to check we need to find out a few things so here we can write that molarity is already given to us 0 0.5 molar number of moles we don't know we need to find out volume of solution in liter we generally take as common one liter so here 0 0.5 molar is the molarity number of moles we don't know volume of solution in liter i'm just taking one liter when i cross multiply this x value is coming to 0 0.5 mole itself that is the uh, number of moles here so for 0 0.5 molar solution of na2co3 we say 0 0.5 mole of Na2CO3 in 1 liter solution to produce to produce 0 0.5 molar Na2CO3 so in lab if I am asking you to prepare 0 0.5 molar solution of Na2CO3 I have to take 0.5 mole of Na2CO3, dissolve it in 1 litre solution, only then I will get 0.5 molar. 
and that 0.5 mole is nothing but 53 grams that is what we calculated in the previous part so this is how you differentiate between what is a mole and what is molar this way it is easy for us to identify